Hi everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. <clears throat> Just wanted to go through uh, a debate that I'm seeing uh, with algorithmic trading, uh, where you got Python, all these other languages, machine learning, and whatnot. I just wanted to go over uh, the top three that I think are out there and the pros and cons of each. Um, so let's talk about NinjaTrader, MotiveWave, and TradeStation. Let's first talk about TradeStation. Um, there's really not a lot of pros anymore with TradeStation, even though they've been around. But the one con I will tell you I'm not a big fan of is their easy language. It's uh, something I just don't like dealing with where the language uh, that they use in their platform is not really popular at all. When you look at the other platforms I'm gonna show you and what they use, you can easily integrate other um, tool, uh, other APIs and, and libraries and frameworks into those platforms and there's methodologies used to be able to do that. That's one of the big reasons I'm not a big fan of TradeStation. And uh, I don't know if you could trust them as a broker as well, since they've converted over. Um, it just seems to be really restrictive. I do know a lot of um, big educators like or and uh, trading experts like Bob Pardo, uh, some of the guys over at in the Institute, Institute Trade. Um, use it <clears throat> so that's fine and good but let's get real that um you will be limited on a lot of things that tradestation and other platforms won't give you and i can say the same thing about metatrader as well because of its mql four or five whatever you choose uh, those are lang languages i just couldn't be bothered to even venture to learn it's just i, I got better places to be that brings us to Ninja Trader. Ninja Trader has one good thing is that it's it works in C sharp, so that's pretty um, popular. Another a con is it's Windows only, and I think that can be a disadvantage, especially if you're like me that doesn't trust a lot of what's on Windows and how Windows gets upgraded, all the in inner in insecurities that come with windows just to, like maintaining windows is just like a full-time job it seems to keep everything secure so it's not the best option for me that's for sure also <coughs> i found when ninja trader six which was pretty good pretty stable and i started looking or was thinking about going to it a few years ago ninja Tr uh, trader six and then seven was coming out and boy that was a big debacle with all the bugs and and, the, and a new ninja eights coming out and it's the same thing so same old same old with ninja trader with like really a lot of bugs that should be um worked out before it becomes a public release not use their uh, live community their customers as the guinea pigs to a new releases i just think it's just a really bad way to release software and then that brings us to uh, motive wave so i played enough with motive wave uh a lot of people that seem to like it love it um it sells itself it uh it's pretty fast there's a lot of advanced features in there with the automated uh elliott wave i'm looking at harmonics is pretty powerful which i like uh the fibonacci is pretty deep as well um, and again, if you're into that as well, uh, I would not use those as an exclusive way to trade, but it's definitely a first decent front, uh, a front way to filter trades out to see if they're worthy of taking on or not. And using either Elliott Wave or um, Harmonix is helpful. A big thing that I like about Window uh, Motive Wave is the charting. It's very advanced. Uh, I've not used anything as advanced and as easy to work with. If you see my past videos with Motive Wave on my playlist on youtube.com slash quantlabs, just look for the playlist uh, Motive Wave. You'll see all the videos there. I've been posting and experimenting with Motive Wave. And I'm not yet been disappointed with Motive Wave, and I've been 
pretty over the last week or so been pretty uh, thorough with a lot of the functionality, and I'm, st I'm just barely scraping by, and the, and I never disappoint. So there's that as well. Also, uh, it's multi OS, so it can run on both Windows and Mac. I don't see why there's there would not be a Linux version. I mean, if there was, I think that would be a massive game changer for any platform to go that route because there's just such a huge user base on Linux that's dying for a platform. When I remember the days when Interactive Brokers was sorta on Linux and, and, and Linux support, and it was like at least one major release behind, but once uh, the Interactive Brokers was pretty well in sync with all the other OSs like Windows or Mac, they 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 blew up because the Linux community really uh, adopted interactive brokers. So, from a platform perspective, I think if a Motive Wave or something similar goes on to uh, Linux, it would be a massive game changer for the platform. When you look at Duke's copies, uh, JForex that can run on Linux. It's just it's it's, it's an I dropping experience to be able to say that this thing will run on on linux but everything's java i'm not sure where if it will happen or why it may not happen but i don't know but if it was linux it would be huge um i don't know where trade station and ninja trader are at with crypto if they even know what crypto is but with motive wave you can um uh, use uh, coin coin compare which is one of the largest uh, aggregators of data for crypto currencies and it's free to get a uh, API so that's pretty cool so knowing that I think that's another big advantage if there's a way to have motive wave execute trades or orders on motive wave natively to execute trades for crypto i think that would be a major huge another big wave of crypto traders would come in um because i've i've looked at a lot of the um platforms out there for crypto and they're and they're okay uh like crypto watch is really cool but it's web, web only and now it's heavily tied to kraken because kraken bought it out last summer i believe so if that happened, that that's another major force behind a platform that would adopt execution or orders with Motive Wave, or or, or if Motive Wave decided to do that. Um, another big thing is that it's Java. Everything's in Java. So this opens up a whole world. This is current too. Is that uh, if you follow me, you know I like using Redis. Uh, for the NoSQL open source database. Um, and you can already have Redis talk to Motive Wave um, and put put requests in or, or pull out data from a Redis installation. So that what you can do is then you can either use signals to push into, in my case, what I'm planning to do with the crypto is use the crypto watches I explained in Motive Wave, gather up all the signals or the alerts, and then push those through um, Redis. And then I don't even need to really do that. I could do it within the <clears throat> email uh, sample that I posted yesterday and uh, have a Java, sorry, a Python listener listen for that, for those emails and build logic around that and then execute trades on that so that's very possible and you can um interface the wood of wave because of that uh with other languages like obviously python um some of the other big features that i like with uh, uh java that ability is now you can also plug into machine learning there's a lot of platforms out there and i don't know where ninja trader are at trade station I think it's going to be really crippled by it, uh, where you can't use something like TensorFlow, which is becoming a standard um, 
framework for machine learning because it's from Google. So I do know that there's a native uh, connection into TensorFlow via Java. So that's a major, major uh, plus for a platform that uses Java like um, Motive Wave. There's so many other features I could go on about Motive Wave. Um, it's just more intelligent. Uh, the the charting is just off the charts, so to say. But uh, that's just some of the advantages. If you really want to know uh, what I'm doing with it, as I said, here I'll go over to my YouTube channel. And uh, let me just put that in there. And uh, uh, you could find a, a, and the other big thing is if you are interested in these type of topics, I do have a uh, bunch of books, the software I'm using uh, to get you some of the software, uh, which is very cheap. Uh, so you could get that through Quant Labs, uh, Quant Labs slash book here, uh, as I said, and then there's a form you fill out and that will get you the two PDFs. And um, as I said, if you go into the playlist here on YouTube, uh, under a Quant Labs the channel, you will find a uh, Motive Wave playlist in there, and that's the latest stuff you can get from uh, the latest stuff about Motive Wave. So it's in there in the, in the playlist here. So, so right now we got 29 videos, and I'm constantly posting my latest set of videos are being talked about Motive Wave, and here's the book information as well. As I said, you just fill in all your details here um, and get your free tech stuff. You don't lose, uh, I, don't, I don't resell your info. Um, and that you'll be put on a newsletter as well, what I'm working on. Other than that, um, I just wanted to talk about those two, those three platforms. Um, and well, at the other end, uh, why I'm using Motive Wave. Other than that, hopefully I'll kind of help you out and we shall uh, talk to you later. Have a good day.